The new applications show President Joe Biden entering the election year in early financial advantage compared to Donald Trump's presidential campaign. This is preparing for an overwhelming general election rematch with his enemy in 2020. A bright spot for the president on a mission low approval ratings. Biden had about $46 million in cash in his hands. However, the $33 million Trump has amassed is still trying to disperse former South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley, who is still his only and biggest competitor for the GOP nomination. But reports underscore difficulties ahead of President Biden did not create cash reserves that would allow Trump to sink his campaign, despite not facing a real threat to his candidacy. He said, as former president faces increasing legal problems, Haley's power in power continues. According to files to the Federal Election Commission on Wednesday night, Trump's current cash amount was more than double the $14.6 million reserve held by Haley. Haley's consistently strong fundraising has helped sustain her long-term bid, although she has lagged far behind Trump in the Iowa and New Hampshire candidacy competitions. He ignored Trump and his allies' demands to withdraw from race and insisted that in the fall he was best-positioned Republican to seat Biden. Haley is currently in middle of a multi-state fundraising move raise campaign dollar needed to extend fight pre-election on her home state. February 24, or possibly by Super Tuesday. On March 5, here are some implications from new applications Trump spends too much although the main campaign committee has been running into 2024 with a lot of cash. Trump's political operation is spending heavily as he uses campaign donations to help cover his growing legal bills. The former president is facing high-profile civil cases as well as four separate criminal announcements. But as Trump's legal bills grew and his cash money dwindled, Save America received more than $42 million in refunds from the Super PAC last year. Haley is being frugal The new reports underscore how much Haley has control over campaign costs. In the last three months of 2023, he spent about $14.3 million but made $17.3 million. The Super PAC SFA fund, which supported his nomination, spent more freely. The year-end report shows that the group raised $50.2 million between July and December and spent $63.7 million. The significant incineration rate remained at the hands of the Super PAC for only $20.24 million dollars when entering 3.524. The group recently released a new ad in the Palmetto province that portrays Haley as the best alternative to both Trump and Biden. The new applications show that some of GOP's biggest donors donated to pro-Haley Super PAC in second half of last year. Order figures inside party were looking for a Trump alternative. These include Ken Griffin. CEO of Citadel Hedge Fund Citadel, which gives $5 in total. Jan Coombe, co-founder, 